Good morning, students. Uh, I am Mrs. Sela. We are going to have a presentation today about conditionals. Okay, one, the zero, one, two, and three. Oh, zero, first, second, and third. Uh, I know that we have uh, learned about it in the last uh, uh, class uh, with the last homework that you did, but I received some homework that they are not okay yet. So I am going to give you a feedback and uh, you're going to pay attention to this because uh, you have to know how to use them. Okay, so we are going to be begin with the presentation. This presentation is for you because I did it. Okay, so now, first of all, we are going to talk about conditionals, zero, first, second, and third. Okay, so I'm going to give you a definition about it. Conditionals. What are conditionals in English grammar? Sometimes we call them if clauses. They describe the results of something that might happen in the present or future, or might have happened but didn't in the past. They are made using different English verb tenses. Well, here we can see a man, okay? He is a worker and he is very, very tired. We are going to use the conditional zero, okay? So, the definition is uh, that uh, when we talk about uh, uh, conditionals, uh, zero conditionals, they are facts or truths. The structure is uh, if plus simple present, result plus simple present. So we are going to have two sentences. For example, I get tired if I work too much, okay? Or for example, I get tired if I do a lot of homework. And we have two sentences in simple present. You can see there, I get tired, simple present, I work too much, simple present. Well, we're going to continue. There you have a picture with a name. So this is a exam, okay? so. This person got an A. So we're going to work with the first conditional using, for example, this example. It is just to talk about real situation that may, that might happen in the future, okay? We, we don't know if that's going to be happen. So the structure is gonna be if plus present plus future, future simple, sorry. If you study her, you'll get good scores, okay? So that's uh, a true, right? But you don't know if that's uh, gonna be happen. So you have to study very hard if you want to have good scores. Uh, something very important here is that you have to pay attention to the comma. When we are going to wear these kind of clauses, okay? Uh, if we are going to use, for example, the connector, in this case is if we're going to write a comma between, okay, the two sentences. Uh, also, we can change it. For example, you'll get good scores if you study her, okay? If we change this, we're not going to use comma. Now, here we have a hero, and we're going to use the second conditional. Why? The description is, we use her to talk about imaginary situation in present or future, like a hero. The structure is if plus past simple, were, would, or could. Uh, in this uh, um, conditional, okay, uh, with past, simple past, like were, we know that, for example, uh, we use uh, for past with the verb to be, I was, he, was, she, was, it, was, and also you were, we, there, they, were, okay? But uh, when we're going to use uh, conditionals with with, with if, okay? So we're going to use uh, the word, were, for all the pronouns, okay? And we're going to use future, would, or could, for example, if I were a superhero, I would have the power to save people. Also, we can say, 
if she were a superhero, she would have the power to save people. Okay, you can use also third person and you're going to use it with where. The third conditional, we use it to talk about imaginary situation in the past, okay? Structure, if plus past perfect. Would or could plus have plus past participle verb, okay? In this case, uh, we have our example that the sentence is, if I have, if I had had famous parents, I would have had an amazing life, okay? So I think that if you want to use uh, this uh, structure, you have to practice very much because uh, if you can see, it's a uh, large, okay, or big structure. Uh, if you can see, for example, I had had past perfect, okay? And also you're going to use a comma and would have. In this case, uh, maybe you can ask, for example, what is would have? And would have is um, uh, abria, okay? So we have to remember that uh, uh, we are talking about imaginary situations, okay? Because, uh, for example, we, we are not people that uh, have uh, a rich parents okay well now we have a picture about a teacher and the teacher is very nervous okay with a lot of the students that they are asking all are asking together and maybe she doesn't know the answer well so the example is here if i were at school you'd be learning okay but also we can say if you you were at school you'd be learning okay because now you are at home and you have to be inside not outside okay remember um this is for you okay um you don't have to go out you have to be at home well so Something very important when we are going to use conditionals uh, with zero, first, second, and third, is that we are going to try to use contractions. For example, use, use for example, is you would, okay? And something very important too is uh, that you have to remember that if you follow structure, you're going to, uh, to, to talk very well, okay? and people can understand to you very, very well. Well, now we have vocabulary, okay? This vocabulary is to work in the platform. So we have born the midnight oil. And this is for very late at night. So we know that many people, for example, work very late okay for example the call centers okay for example uh i don't know um uh, the doctors they work very late number two we have irritable we have easily annoyed or made angry for example the person is um very very tired and he wants to sleep he get irritable right number three we have naps the meaning of naps is short sleeps during the day okay so for example there are many people that they uh, take a nap in the afternoon maybe 15 minutes or 30 minutes or one one hour okay i don't know maybe you also take a nap okay in the day or in the afternoon now in the morning i don't know number four is not off not off is fall asleep by accident okay for example i was talking about uh, doctors okay and doctors they have to work uh, at night okay when they have turns well so for example not off 
the meaning is, like I said before, fall asleep by accident, okay? Maybe they are so, so tired that maybe they can sleep, okay, uh, in a place, for example, on the bus. Or for example, people when he, uh, when they are driving, okay, they have accident because they uh, not off. Now we have power nap, an extra short sleep in the middle of the work working day. Okay, so this is power nap, an extra short sleep. Okay, so it's not a nap, it's, it's an extra nap. Okay, so maybe it's not uh, 15 minutes, three minutes, one hour, maybe two or three hours. Uh, now we have uh, number six is from by have someone considering okay so there are many people that they work uh, for example at night for example people that uh, work in discotheques or work in restaurants or work in hospitals okay and um, people can consider Consider, okay, consider them that that they are so so tired, but the, there are other people that they they don't consider that, okay. So number seven, we have shit eye, and this one is sleep. We can say it informal. I should eye at eight o'clock, for example. Number eight, we have B. Draw C, okay. In this case, is be tired and almost sleepy, okay. So, for example, I am drowsy, okay. I am almost sleepy, okay. Uh, for example, I have to go to a dinner or to a party, and really, so I am drowsy, okay. I want just to sleep. Now we have a demonstrate is show a fact clearly. For example, I can demonstrate to you that I can speak English. Number 10, we have a minor concern. Something important that worries or involves your greatly. Okay, it's very important or worry. Okay, for you. We have now sleep the deprivation or deprivation. Okay, it's lack of lack of sleep. Okay, maybe you uh, at night uh, have uh, insomnia. Okay, and you can sleep right. So it's the lack of sleep. I think that uh, this is a bad thing because. Uh, if you don't sleep the eight hours, you are not going to be uh, comfortable next day, okay? And we have number 12, is tolerant. Accept something you don't like, okay? Sometimes we have to be uh, tolerant people with other because uh, uh, we try to to, to, to have friendship with other people, but they do different things that we don't like, okay? And we are tolerant. We have number 13, has that tendency. The number 13 has a tendency, the quality of always being the same, okay? Has the tendency. I have, I have the tendency to running every day. Okay, so like a routine. Fourteen, return. It's to come back. Okay, from a place. Fifteen, over the course of the year, we have during a period of time or process. So, for example. Uh, you're going to study over the course of the year, okay? Oh, you're going to study over the course of the years, right? 
Well, so this is the vocabulary that you are going to work in, in the platform, okay? This is very important. And so also you have to investigate, okay? I give you the explanation and you can use it, okay? When you have any question. Now I have for you a positive phrase. It's, it is, it's going to be heard, but heard does not mean impossible. Okay, so for example, now that we have in a problem, in a social problem, in a pandemic, okay, uh, with a virus, uh, we have to remember that could be her, but uh, other things happen, okay, and uh, that not uh, has that. Uh, not has to be uh, impossible, okay? Also, for example, a other things, okay? For example, to have a, a, a career, or to have a dream, or to do something that you want, okay? If you want to do it, okay, you can reach it. It's not impossible, okay? It's not impossible for you less is not impossible for cat okay so this is the class for today and i think that i'm going to play a video right but i don't know if i have the video here well so i'm going to find it here i have it okay this is a real english if you want like the video no i think <laughs> what would you do if you won 10 million dollars quit my job and travel what would you do if you won 10 million dollars uh i'd uh buy a flat in new an apartment in new york and uh and my own private helicopter so i could fly anywhere else i would invest part of it but i'd also travel i'd make my husband retire i'd help my children and travel. What would you do if you won $10 million? Uh, I would give it to charity and then I would give some to my mom. <laughs> Pay off all my bills, buy a few houses, and then go on vacation. <laughs> travel and go to school for the rest of my life. Retire immediately, move my family to an island somewhere and just relax. I'd put it in the bank. You'd put that 10 million right into the bank. What would you do if you had 10 million pounds? Worry, I should imagine. Travel. Then I would have to travel, go to France. And then what would we do? And we'd probably go to Paris. And we'd go to Paris and we'd eat a lot and drink good wine. Exactly. What would you do if you won 10 million dollars? Pay my bills and say goodbye to Jersey. <laughs>